Hi, my name is Jocelyn Penner, and I'm the Director of Policy for the Miro team. I want to tell you about two things today. I want to talk to you broadly about public engagement and what the Miro team is doing about it. And secondly, I want to talk to you about the coming End Violence Against Children campaign that is a global initiative that will come to your national office in the near future. So let's start with the basics. Read with me. Public engagement, what is it? Well, it's a strategic approach to engage relevant actors to create understanding, support, and favorable action. It means that our overall goals, as always, and as you've heard many times, is to build impact, influence, and income. And those are the, the building blocks of sustainability for World Vision, and all three matter. And so our public engagement is, co is coined on one important topic, that is interconnected actors. We all know that, for example, actors like the EU are both our donor as much as our target for advocacy, as much as a generator of public support or ridicule on, on certain policies and topics. And so reaching out to the EU can't just be a one-line approach. It must be a multiple approach from multiple actors that make sure that the EU is, is perceiving world vision and our national office context and our community context in certain ways. It just means that we have to do an integrated approach to how we, how we work with the EU. So how do we do it? There are three things here. Public engagement is about coordination of us internally, unity of action, even though we're doing different things and we have different roles to play, together we are unified in what we want to achieve. And then finally, we're about leveraging relationships. What does that mean? So it means that when we're pre-positioning, we're also creating those relationships to pass on for policy or for advocacy influence. It means that we're building public support, and in doing so, we're creating um, a, a space for civil society and members of the public to say what they mean towards government and building a democratic engagement. So there are so many facets of public engagement where we are, we, when we are creating new relationships externally in order that we achieve our income, our influence, and our impact. So turning now to the End to Violence campaign um, against children, this is, this is a global initiative. It is coming at the end of our Child Health Now campaign, and it was chosen for a number of reasons. The first reason is that most of our national offices are already doing child protection and end violence against children work. And that's really important so that it means that this campaign is not about generating new points of action um, and going further afield out of our strategy, but in fact taking what we're already doing, what we've already said we're going to do, and that we, our programs already show that we do, and, and making sure that we leverage those actions into an external environment. And so in a way, the, the advocacy part and the communications part and the GAM part are somewhat already there. Now it's just about coordinating those actions and leveraging it all the way up to the global team, all the way up to our humanitarian and global capitals. So with that in mind, there's a couple things. We all know that it's more than advocacy, it's public engagement. It means that every department in World Vision and our national office teams and our ADPs have to be involved at some point. It also means that we're going to be solutions driven. We want to count on our programming and the evidence that is existing out of our programming to suggest in the campaign ways to actually end violence against girls and boys. Uh, if you're interested, this is a planning year. The campaign doesn't start until the next fiscal year. But if you're interested, we have, first of all, a Miro three-page document that we've sort of given the basic facts. We, we acknowledge that some national offices are going to jump at the opportunity and some will be more reserved based on what they're already doing. Um, and for this, we, this is a five-year campaign, so there's time to get involved. Please contact me for more information and my colleague Claudia Peterson on the advocacy team. We'd be happy to answer more questions and to engage with you. There will be some national offices who decide to be first adopters of the campaign and will start at the beginning of next fiscal year. Others won't. I'd love to hear from you, and thanks again for your time. Bye.